So there's been an awful lot of talk about a rebooted Indiana Jones movie franchise and also the possibility of new rides coming to Disney parks featuring Indiana Jones. But you know what? Let's dive in and evaluate the validity and also the reasoning behind all of this up next. Hi there Walteners, I'm Jack, this is DSMI Newscast, and you know what, let's just get straight into it. As when Disney bought Lucasfilm back in 2012, the focus of the acquisition was on the Star Wars franchise, as clearly that's what Lucasfilm is synonymous for. And Disney saw a clear strategy to make back the $4 billion they spent on this acquisition through merchandise, new park experiences like Galaxy's Edge, and obviously, new Star Wars movies and TV shows. However, as part of this $4 billion deal, Disney also acquired Indiana Jones, which is a movie franchise that is just as beloved in its own right. So it was only natural that talk of a fifth Indiana Jones movie would eventually happen. And that was the case as it was made official in March of 2016, with the announcement that a new installment would be coming in July of 2019. Then last year, Disney decided to push back the release to July 10th of 2020, with a production start date of April of 2020. But once again, in July of this year, Disney announced that Indiana Jones 5 will be moving back another year to July 9th of 2021 instead. Now the reason for this date changing and swapping is actually quite important, as Disney have very high hopes to use this next movie to relaunch the franchise, as after all, Indiana Jones was always Lucas and Spielberg's homage to the James Bond movies, and so the next movie will still be starring Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones one last time, but Disney will also be looking to set up a way to reboot the franchise as well. But the reasons why this movie's release date has been pushed back time and time again is mainly because Steven Spielberg, who is directing this fifth installment, is also working on other projects, such as a West Side Story remake, and so Disney have decided to take their time with the script process and development, and have brought in Jonathan Kasdan, who's familiar with the source material, to write the movie. So on the movie side of things, Disney are definitely moving ahead and have big plans for Indiana Jones. But that now brings us to the question of where does that leave us with Indiana Jones within the Disney parks? As since 2017, rumours have been circulating about the new ways Disney would like to use Indiana Jones in their parks. However, the movie franchise was only going to be coming to one of Walt Disney World's parks, and internally it was being decided whether Animal Kingdom or Disney's Hollywood Studios would need the IP more. But now, according to insiders sources, the concept for the reimagining of Dinosaur over Animal Kingdom into a version of the Indiana Jones attraction over at Disneyland has been dropped altogether within Imagineering, with the thinking internally being that Disney's Hollywood Studios still requires additional attractions and offerings even after Galaxy's Edge opens, and that it would be a better fit for that park's narrative and overall theme. Furthermore to this matter, reliable insider Marnie1971 on the WDW Magic forums has stated that Disney have decided that Hollywood Studios will be the home for anything Indiana Jones in the future. Now in talking about ideas and concepts within Walt Disney Imagineering, we all know that plans can change internally and nothing is set in stone until it's officially announced. And even then, once plans are officially announced, they can still change as we saw with the Magic Kingdom Theatre announcement earlier this year. So with all of that in mind, what do we currently know about these very early plans? Well, what we do know is if Disney move ahead with this proposal, it won't be complete until the middle of the next decade. As you see, as part of the suggested proposal, it would see a general reimagining of the surrounding Echo Lake area to Indiana Jones, with the idea that a new e-ticket attraction would be built where the Indiana Jones stunt show currently resides. But don't forget that this is still very early days and plans might still change. But we'll keep you updated as we always do. But before we get into more Disney news, I'd just like to say a quick thanks to Mickey Chuck for sponsoring this episode. As Mickey Travels are only one of a select few travel agencies in the entire world that have Disney's platinum earmark status. So if you're looking to book a Disney vacation, Mickey Travels will handle all aspects of your trip and do it all for free, as they never charge for their services. So to get your free quote today, visit mickeytravels.com in the description box or call them on the number below. However, it seems that Indiana Jones isn't the only movie franchise that Disney are looking to reboot and reinvigorate. As it was 
reported by Deadline earlier this week that the writers of the Deadpool movies and Zombieland are in talks to script the next installment in the Pirates of the Caribbean saga. Now, it hasn't been confirmed yet whether Johnny Depp will be returning to reprise his role as Captain Jack Sparrow in the new movie, but if I were to hazard a guess, I think that Disney will be looking to diversify the Pirates of the Caribbean universe and maybe centre this new movie or movies around characters such as the Redhead or maybe even other new pirates instead. Whereas, moving back on over to some classic Disney news, Disney Parks blog have released this image of Mickey and Minnie's new outfits as part of a worldwide celebration for Mickey's 90th birthday. And we've also received our first look at the Mickey's 90th Spectacular airing on ABC on Sunday the 4th of November. On Sunday, November 4th, the world comes together to celebrate the true original, Mickey Mouse. And I'm sure as part of this spectacular, we'll probably hear a lot more about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway that's coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios as well. But now, it's over to you, the Waltoners, as I would like to know if you could reboot or expand the existing narrative of any Disney movie so that it could come to the parks in a greater capacity. What movie would it be and why? And of course, don't forget to put the timestamp for where the Hidden Mickey appeared somewhere within this video, along with your suggestion or your comment to be on the chance to win one of these official Waltonair DSY Newscast enamel pins. And congratulations to this Waltonair here for winning this suggestion from a previous video where we were talking all about the Guardians of the Galaxy roller coaster coming to Epcot. And so that's it for today. So go ahead and subscribe down below if you're new to this channel. Download the DSMI Newscast app for iPhone as it's a great way to stay up to date with all of the latest Disney news. And also if you've enjoyed today's video, give this video a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And I've been Jack, you've been you, and I'll see you real soon.